Okay. Our face. <laughs> Apron. Our face. <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's the other trick or treats. The other trick or treats. Letters and trick or treats. Did y'all get all that? Letters and trick or treats. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, I am Megan. This is Declan. <laughs> and we are building an off-grid homestead in South Carolina. We're glad to have you here. So on Mondays, I like to do what I call Cook With Me Mondays, where I invite you into our home and share my favorite recipes with you. Now, our home may look a little different to you if you're new around here, but that's because we live in an RV when we wait on all of the permits to build our off-grid tiny home. We do things just a little different. I don't have a lot of counter space or stuff, so we just may do with what we have, which is basically what being a homesteader is. Today though, we are making one of our favorites and that is pickled eggs. I love pickled eggs and we go through them fairly quickly. So today I will be making two jars of pickled eggs. A little bit of a different twist on one of the jars, but they're the same basic recipe and they are super quick, super easy to make. I will be making them in my Instant Pot because it is the fastest way to cook eggs and they are super easy to peel when you make them in your instant pot now we do live off grid so we have to run our generator in order for me to run my instant pot so if you hear that in the background that's what that is otherwise we have solar power for power to get started with your instant pot you just fill the bottom of it up with about two cups of water put you a little rack in it my rack has a hole in the center so i add aluminum foil and then you put all of your eggs in here if you want to boil them on the stove that is perfectly fine. It don't change the recipe at all. Just cook your eggs however you want. Just boil your eggs. Water's in. Now I'm just going to fill my Instant Pot up all the way with eggs. Like I said, we go through a lot of these. So. So I've got 31 eggs in here. Okay, so I have my lid on. It's sealed. I've got it sealed back here. I let mine cook for four minutes on pressure and then do a natural release for four minutes. And then I'll take them out and put them in a bowl of cold water and let them start cooling down so that I can go ahead and shell them. And they shell super easy. I will show you that. Now I only got 31 eggs in my instant pot, which seems like a lot there is a good chance i will have to do another batch to be able to fill our jars completely full so stay tuned for that i will be back as soon as this is done okay so my instant pot has now done its four minutes of pressure four minutes of natural release i'm manually releasing it now and then we'll get ready to peel i got more than two yeah i got a lot of eggs Three. That is three. Good job. You know what comes next? What? Four. Three. Uh-uh. Five. Yeah. Six. Six. Good job. Seven. Seven. Eight. 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 That's right. Eight comes next. Eight. Eight. Seven, eight. Nine. Nine. Ten. This is the size mason drawer we're doing, and I think last the last few times I've done this that it takes like 20 eggs to fill it up. Okay, so we're gonna let these cool for about five minutes before we start trying to fill them. So I'll see y'all in five minutes.
because I miscounted when I did them the first time. These jars hold 30 eggs, not 20. Let's get ready to make our brine. I'm gonna make mine in my Instant Pot again on the saute function, just so I don't have to mess up any other dish. But normally I would make this on the stovetop in a saucepan. Now I am doubling this recipe, but it is super, super simple. All you need is one cup of water, one cup of distilled vinegar, one tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of pickling spice, and one teaspoon of salt. Now that is all gonna go into one jar. The other jar, I'm also gonna add two cloves of garlic and three sprigs of fresh dill into it. I'm doubling this recipe, so I'm gonna be putting twice as much in my instant pot, but that is what you'll need if you're doing just one jar. Okay, so here are my two cups of water. Two cups of white distilled vinegar. Two tablespoons of sugar. Two tablespoons of pickling spice. Now because the pickling spice has cloves in it, it will give your eggs a tan color. There's nothing wrong with them. It's just the cloves in it. I don't mind the tan color, but if you do, just be aware of that. And then two teaspoons of salt. For your liquid brine portion, you just want to bring it to a boil and then let it cook for about five to ten minutes till all of your sugar is dissolved. While we wait on that, I'm going to take my one gallon jar that's getting the uh, garlic and the dill. I only filled it halfway so that I can go ahead and stick these in. Okay, so I have two cloves of garlic, pretty good size here. Just drop them in. Three fresh sprigs of dill are just going in also. So those are in my jar and now I'm just going to fill it all the way the rest of the way up with eggs. For my eggs, I'm just like sticking them in here and just giving them a nice little tuck down. I'm not smushing them. I don't want them to bust. I just want them to be nice and tucked in. I have two full jars of boiled eggs. That's all that's in there. It's hard boiled eggs and then my two cloves of garlic and three sprigs of dill are in this one. Mine is pretty mixed up. I'm just letting it cool down for a minute or two and then I'll be pouring them directly into my eggs. to the brim. We'll sit the overflow and I'll put the lid on. Did go ahead and put these lids on here hot so there's a good chance they're gonna seal down but we are not canning these. They're just gonna go in the fridge once they get all the way cool. So it is that simple to make pickled eggs. Alright what is our vlogmas question of the day. Okay. What is it? Apple. Apple? Our vlogmas question of the day is apple? Okay. Um, I, want, I want an apple. You want an apple? I want an apple. <laughs> um, okay. I'm trying to think of a question that goes around apples there, buddy. Do you make any apple dish for apple. Christmas? Yeah. Anything with apples in it. This kid right here is a fan of apples. Fan of apples. A fan of apples, yeah. And a cuckoo. And eggs, so he'll eat these too. Now with these pickled eggs, you're going to want them to set at least three days, but about two weeks is best. They can actually last several months in your fridge. I heard they start getting mushy at about six months, but we haven't had any go that long yet, so I cannot give you personal advice if, if that is true or not. If you have not seen the pepper jelly recipe I've done, I will link it down below and up top. I just cut the eggs in half and do a little spoonful of pepper jelly on the egg and eat it that way, and it is so good. Say bye bye, friends. Yeah, to say bye bye, friends. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you in the morning. I said no.